Hey there, Pioneer Field Agronomist Joe Iltz coming to you from Western Wisconsin and we've got a really interesting topic to talk about today and that's going to be brace ruts. You might stop and ask, well brace ruts, what could possibly be interesting about brace ruts? Brace ruts help the plants stay vertical. Absolutely true, but these brace ruts are doing a heck of a lot more than just helping the plants stay vertical. Perhaps the most interesting thing about a brace root is that they're wonderful snack. You break these buggers open, you take a bite, you'll find that they're incredibly sweet. So if you find yourself stranded in a cornfield and you need some carbohydrate, snap off a couple of these brace roots and give them a nibble. Well, why is there so much carbohydrate stored in a brace root? Well, it's an interesting concept. What we know about plants and roots in general is that roughly 20% of the carbohydrate that is manufactured in the plant, the sugars that ultimately go and feed this developing year are actually sent down through the root system. And that 20% of carbohydrate is designed to feed the microbes that ultimately benefit the plant by helping bring in water and other nutrients. So when we look at a brace root on a corn plant, you know, what we typically see is the ability to help stabilize that plant. But we also know with an absolute fact that these brace roots are also responsible for feeding microbes that bring in plant nutrients that also help contribute to this developing year. So there's your lesson for the day. Again, if you find yourself out in a cornfield and looking for a sweet snack, grab yourself a brace root, start to nibble, and think about the way in which that corn plant is feeding not only the microbes, but also your hungry appetite. Thanks for watching. Take care. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.